Good evening, Karen. Hola, Miss. Hola, good evening. How are you? I'm very good. Very good, excellent. Hey, Karen, ayer ya casi no la vi al final de la clase. Sí, es que me vinieron a llamar. <laughs> no. Me vinieron a llamar y pues me tocó que salir. Yes, you're right. Okay, Karen, but good to have you in class. What about Anita? Hi, Anita. Hi. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you, Anita? Fine, thank you, teacher. Fine, excellent. Very good. Excellent. All right, girls, I want to tell you something. If probably you don't see me in a time, in a specific time, Si no me ven es porque me puse camisa blanca y el fondo es blanco, right? <laughs> si en algún momento solo me ven la cara, it's because of that. Let me move. All right, girls, welcome back to your English class. Let's see. How many others do we have? Hi, Miss. Hi, lady. How are you? Okay, let me see. Teresa is telling us that she cannot talk. And let me see. Well, girls, let's get started. I hope you are good, you are safe and sound. I, let me see. Ah, okay, lady. Okay. All right, girls, let's get started. Solo me regalaban un segundito porque algunas de sus compañeras me estaban comentando algo en el chat box, okay? So, welcome back, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you. I'm always excited for this class because I know that I got my girls and they want to learn. So, it's amazing. So, today's is class, today's is class six, all right? We are in section three. We need to go a little bit slow with the section because you have also next week with this section, all right? So let's check. We have, you can't miss it. Now, let's see if we remember. Mention at least three parts of the body, Maria Siguenza. Uy, no se le escucha. Nose? No, no, yes. Tooth. Ah, tooth, uh-huh. Uh, feet, feet. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, feet, feet, yes. What? Yes, feet. Ah, feet, all right. Excellent, very really good, girl. Thank you. That's correct. That's correct. Let's go with the next one. Number two, mention at least three common medications. Let me see, Karen Heyman. Mouse cream, aspirin, y antiacid. Antiacid, excellent. Thank you, Karen. Number three, mention at least three places. Do you remember places? Yesterday we saw places. So let's see, Anita, tell me at least three places. No recuerdo muy bien eso de los lugares, pero será de la casa. Eh, el del bank. Ah, es que no está ahí lo vi. Ajá. Ajá. Es cierto, Anita, pero usted se, ya, no, ya no la vi en... No, ya no pude entrar. De hecho, ya no pude. Ajá, ah. se me dificultó. Ajá. Ok, sí, Anita, todo eso. por No se Ajá. preocupe, entonces. Vamos a hacer un review. Bueno, pero no la puse, fíjese aquí esa información. Ojalá tal vez pueda ver la recording después, porque ahí viene esa información. Let me go with... Let me see... Vanessa, Vanesita, let's see, Vanessa, tell me at least three places that we saw yesterday. Le voy a ayudar a Vanessa. Ah, ok, Karen. Este, por, por contestarles, le dio salir, entonces por eso. Mm -hmm. A bank, a drugstore, a bookstore. Um, supermarket, uh, right. station, station, 
a post office, a restaurant. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Karen. Qué buena amiga, thank you. <laughs> okay, let me go with somebody else. Let's see, who else do we have? We have, what are nouns? Let's see. Let me see, Jenny Romero. Hi, Vanessa, ya volvió. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> don't worry, Vanessa, nos pasa a todos, don't worry, okay? Eh, bueno, Vanessa, voy a aprovechar que ya regresó y dígame la number four, please. What are nouns? No, I think I couldn't hear you. Sí, teacher, permítame un segundito que... Yes, yes, no se preocupe. No me lo puedo de memoria. No, está bien, si tiene anotaciones, para eso hacemos uso. Uh, creo que es a nom, a person, a place, or a thing. Uh -huh. In other words, many things that you see around you are knowns. Exactly, that's correct, Vanessa. So in other words, every everything that we saw around us are nouns, like for example, a computer, a telephone, um, a PPT, a presentation, it's a noun. Um, a fan, a bottle, una botella de agua, that's a noun. Cualquier cosa que veamos a nuestro alrededor eh, se convierte en noun, ¿verdad? All right, so thank you. No se preocupen, si ayer no pudieron estar en la clase, hoy voy a explicar eso de nuevo porque it's really important, ¿ok? So, let's go. Ahorita solo estamos haciendo un review a ver qué podemos recordar. What are compound nouns? Pero quizás de esta me voy a pasar mejor a la explanation. Vamos a ver. We have what are nouns. It's really important to understand. El tema en sí es compound nouns, ¿verdad? Pero es importante que comprendamos qué son los nouns antes de saber cuáles son los compuestos, right? So let's see, compound noun. No, no, what are nouns? Let me see. Ya lo leí yo, Vanesita, eh, pero quiero que lo lea alguien más. Let me see, Jenny Romero, can you please read it? Yes, uh, a noun. What are noun? What are noun? A noun, a person, a place, or a thing. Mm -hmm. In order, in other words, many things that you see around you are. Noun. Exactly, Jenny. You're right. Thank you. Anita, can you please read it again? A noun, a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are known. Excellent, thank you girls, all right? Cuando yo les pido que a veces lean la misma información hasta tres, no es porque lo haga mal alguna, no, nada que ver. Es porque entre más lo escuchamos, más los leemos, un poquito se nos queda, right? Al menos. Y ya tenemos una referencia de qué es. Así que a mí me ha funcionado eso, así que por eso I try to use it with you girls. Let me see. Now, let's keep in mind that a noun, it equals a person, a place, or a thing, even an animal, right? We can say an animal, for example, a lion is a noun. Um, I don't know, a cat, a dog. Okay, those are nouns too. What are compound nouns? Ahora sí, este es el tema principal, right? A compound noun, a compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. A compound noun is usually a noun plus a noun, all right? Pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress. Stress is common. El acento para nosotros, podríamos decirlo, right? Donde ustedes ponen el, el acento, eso es el stress para ellos. Right? On the first word. A diferencia, ellos no lo hacen escrito el acento y nosotros sí, ¿verdad? Lo ponemos con el... ¿Cómo se llama eso? Con la tilde. Ellos no, right? Ellos solo hacen el sound. Entonces, por eso es que ustedes no se van, si se fijan, no encuentran tildes, pero sí hay palabras que suenan más fuertes que otras. 
porque de eso se trata, pronunciation. So it says pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress on the first word. Now let's get somebody else to read this information. Let me have Emperatriz. Can you please read the information? Sorry, a compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. A compound noun is usually noun plus noun. Pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress or the first word. Exactly, that's correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Let, let me go with Patricia Pacheco. Okay, Patricia, your turn to read. A compound noun is a noun that is small, that is small with two or more words. A compound noun is usually noun plus noun. Pronunciation. Compound noun sent to help more stress on the first word. Exactly. Thank you, Patricia. All right. Don't forget that one tend to have more stress in the first word, right? Let's see. For example, compound nouns are things, are words that they have its own meaning by themselves. Cada una de estas puede tener su propio significado por sí misma, pero cuando ya están unidas, se vuelven una compuesta, all right? Por eso se les llama compound nouns. Right? Porque tienen dos nouns, inclusive en una información que yo estaba buscando, porque si es cierto, yo tomo el contenido directo de la plataforma, pero siempre trato de tener más resources. Y en una de esas encontré de que inclusive hay nouns plus adjectives que forman un compound noun. Así que algunas veces puede variar, right? Pero en este caso solo estamos trabajando compound nouns. It says, notice the stress in these compound nouns. We have post office, right? En este caso, no están unidos los dos, pero es un solo lugar, right? Post office. Entonces, no están unidos, pero es una sola palabra, basically. A eso se le llama compound noun. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Restroom, right? Eh, ayer me decía, creo que fue Lady la que me preguntó, que si no estaba tan bien el que es unido. Y sí, los dos son, hay uno que es unido, pero significa lo mismo que este, restroom, right? La única diferencia es que aquí están haciendo la separación. ¿Dónde es que va a sonar más? Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop, right? Coffee shop. Drugstore. Ahora bien, ustedes ya estas las ven unidas. Drug puede significar una sola palabra y store también, right? Entonces, pero están unidas como un compound. Entonces dicen drugstore, drugstore, supermarket, supermarket o supermarket. Bookstore, bookstore, department store, department store, right? department store. Esta está separada porque cada una puede significar something different. All right, let's check those accents, <laughs> those stress. All right, let me go with Carla Garcia. Carla, can you please tell me the vocabulary? Hello. Post Hello. office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, Supermarket, bookstore, apartment store. Exactly. Very good, Carlita. Thank you. Department store. Thank you. Let me go with Fatima Enriquez. Okay, Fatima, tell me the vocabulary. ¿Cuál teacher? Todo. Uh, post office. Gay station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, and department store. Okay, 
Excellent, thank you. All right, let's go. Very good, Farima, excellent. Let's go with Karen Heyman, please. Post office, gas station, restaurant, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent, thank you, Karen. Let's go with Ana Rivas, please. Post office, drugstore, my station, supermarket, restaurant, bookstore, coffee shop, department, store. That's correct, excellent, thank you. Uh, let's go with Maria Siguenza, please. Post office, gas, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, and department store. That's correct. Thank you, Mary. And the last one, Karen Martinez. Let's see, Karen. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. That's correct. Thank you, girl. All right, girls, there you have it. These are like the most common uh, compound nouns that we have. A medida de que ustedes vayan aprendiendo más contenido, se van a ir dando cuenta que hay más compound nouns, right? Es como con los verbos. Cuando vamos desarrollando más contenido, vamos viendo que existen a lot of verbs, right? Like 200 or more because our actions. So that's the good thing of learning a second language, that you are learning step by step, right? So let's move on, conversation across from the park. Now, we are going to get into a topic which is really interesting, but it's also, it could be kind of a uh, confusing, all right? So let's try to pay attention. I'm going to tell you the conversation, listen carefully, then you'll practice. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue on the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot, right? So he's looking for a restroom for his son and he's asking for directions, right? So let's check this. Let me go with, let me see. Isis Reyes, you are the man and let me see. Vanessa Leiva, you are woman. Action. Okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Uh, well, there's a restaurant in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and Fifth Avenue. 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 Oh, the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across for the park. You can miss it. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Excellent. Now, this one, um, let me see. Aquí le vamos a dar un poquito de stress a esta, a la avenue, right? Avenue. Avenue. All right. Eso es todo, eh? Everything was pretty perfect. Let's go with Patricia Pacheco. You are man. And Anita, you are woman. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? 
Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I am sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It is on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Very good, excellent. Let me go with Maria Siguenza, you are man. Karen Heyman, ustedes woman, action. Excuse me, can you heal me? Is there a public restroom around? A public restroom? Um, I am sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store. On my Where? On Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thank, thank a lot. Excellent, very good. Thank you, girls. Now, if you notice in here, it says thanks a lot, right? El thanks a lot is lo mismo que thank you very much. Significa muchas gracias, right? En vez de decir thank you, te lo agradezco, decimos thanks a lot, right? Tenemos diferentes maneras de decir thank you, all right? And that's one of those. Let me go with Carla Garcia, you are man, Emperatriz, you are woman. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and the First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Excellent, thank you girls. Very good, good. Let me go with Jenny Romero, you are man. And Gloria Mena, you are woman. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Uh, a public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no. My son needs a restroom. Where? There is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. Oh, the corner of Made up first? Uh, yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good job. Very good. Now, let's do not forget Maid and First Street. Now, this conversation is important. Why? Let's see why. 
Prepositions of place, listen. With the time, you will learn that there are more prepositions of place, all right? But these are like the basic ones that we have to talk about position of places, right? Where is located something that this is what you used to to tell other people where it's located something. So, las puse aquí por separado por si querían tomar nota, right? Ya vamos a ver una picture donde aparecen, pero por cualquier cosa las puse por separado. We have on, on the corner of, across from, next. We have only four, so far only four. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, ah, let me see, next to, in between. This is number five, number five, all right, between. So let's see, we have five prepositions of place. In. Uh -huh, we are missing in, it's true. No se las puse porque aquí en, el, en lo que ya voy a ponerles no la mencionaba, right? Pero sí es una preposition of place. Very good. And under. Under, exactly, it's true. Um, although if we are talking about buildings, aunque si estamos hablando de edificios o de location, ¿dónde está localizado algo? Sí, casi nunca se utiliza under. Porque under es esto. So you cannot use it. Es como above. Above es arriba. So no lo utilizamos. Pero el in sí. Okay. If you finish with this one, let me go with the it. Over. Huh? In the precision over. Over también. It's true. Over Main Street. Sí, porque se puede decir over Main Street. Yes. Okay. Very good. Como les dije, estas son las basic ones que menciona el, el video, right? Ustedes van a ir viendo y qué bueno que ya algunas la conocen, que hay more prepositions. Y es bueno tenerlas aquí para utilizarlas, right? Sorry, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. What is the difference between on and yes. in? On is when you have it above. Cuando lo tiene encima, cuando tiene encima algo, above. Miss, y se utilizaría el behind. Permítame, Karen, solo le voy a explicar a lo que Jenny me preguntó, okay. right? Ya le yes. Ok. Y in es cuando algo está adentro, right? In. For example, I can say, yo puedo decir, supongamos que hay una drugstore adentro de un edificio. So, the building is on Main Street. Inside of the building, you have the drugstore, right? Inside of the building, you have the drugstore. Entonces, in es adentro, on es encima, right? Let's see, Karen. Hoy sí, Karen, okay. disculpe, dígame, ¿cómo le ayudo? Eh, solo este, del behind, sí se puede usar ahí también. O sea, en los que estamos viendo ahorita. Yes, sí, qué bueno, si lo tiene y lo puede usar, do it. Aquí, eso es lo que les quería decir, que aquí en el video ustedes solo se les muestran cinco. Por eso es que yo me tengo que apegar a, a, a lo del video, right? Pero sí, hay más como behind. It's true. Y behind de esas sí hacemos uso para hablar de, de locaciones, right? De dónde está localizado un lugar, behind. For example, I don't know, my house is behind the tortillería, right? En caso está detrás de la tortillería. So it could be. You can use it as well. Now, let's move on to the next one. Prepositions of place. And there you have it. On is this one, right? Let me get you in. Okay, on is this one. This one that you're seeing here. On the corner of. You are talking about this, right? This, on is this one, on the corner of. Cuando decimos on the corner of, nos referimos a una, nos referimos a una esquina específica, right? On the corner of, right? Es una esquina. Across from, look at this. Si ven este parquecito, across from es cuando tenemos que cruzar, right? Porque lo que estamos buscando está enfrente. 
right? Next to, is a la par, next to. Between is in the middle, all right? Between. Now, let's take into consideration the following things that I'm going to mention. I have a map in here, all right? I have a map that they show you some locations in the video. And I believe that it's pretty good that we practice with that map because sometimes we can have more than one preposition. A veces podemos tener más de una preposición en la misma sentence, right? So in this case, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant, right? Aquí tenemos una conjunction, una unión, all right? The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Now, let's take into consideration the following information. Para el between, siempre, siempre. It's mandatory que ustedes tengan dos lugares, right? Yo no puedo decir between the department store y me quedo ahí. No, necesito los dos lugares porque between es en medio, right? Y tampoco puedo decir los dos lugares y después decir between, no, okay? Tal vez in Spanish we say those things, decimos como vaya, está tal lugar y está esto. En medio va a encontrar eso, right? Pero no, in English no, you have to say between both places. Now, let's get into the practice. I know, let me go with you girls. I need you to hear your pronunciation in this part. Let's see, let's start with Jenny Romero, tell me the sentences of this side, please. The department store is on a made strip. Mm -hmm. It is on the corner of main and first. It is across from the park. Thank you, Jenny. Karen Heyman, can you please? Read this one, this one's. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store. Perdón, perdón. The bank is between the department, department store and the restaurant. All right, excellent. Karen, Excuse me, Miss, me pongo nerviosa. Don't worry, Karen, don't worry. Yo pensé que me iba a decir que ya almorcé y me dio sueño. All right, because in that case, I got you. All right. Let's see, girls. Let's go with somebody else. Let me have Anita. Okay, Anita, tell me these sentences. The department store in on Main Street. It's on the corner of May and Ferns. Is across from the park. Excellent, thank you. Maria Siguenza, please. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Excellent, thank you. Is this Reyes, please? Okay, um, department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of May and first. It's across from the park. Excellent, thank you. Patricia Pacheco. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and Fierce. It's across from the park. Excellent. Thank you, Patricia. Let me go with Emperatriz, please. These other two sentences. Okay. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Fatima Enriquez, please. The department store is on a main street. 
It's on the corner of Main Affairs. It's across from the park. Excellent. Thank you, Farima. Very good. Let me go with Carla Garcia, please. The other two. Is next to the bank. The bank is between the department the store and the restaurant. Excellent, thank you. Natalia Guevara, your turn. Okay, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and Fields. It's across from the park. All right, excellent, thank you, Natalia. Now, I'm going to say something just before we move on, all right? This word, aquí, ustedes están viendo un puntito rojo, right? Este puntito, ahí la voy guiando yo para donde quiero que lean. Les quiero decir esto. Esta palabra, department, right? Department. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the correct one. Thank you. Let me go with Karen Martinez, please. This other two. It is next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. That's correct. Thank you, girl. And Vanessa Lay, by your turn. The department store is on Main Street. Mm -hmm. It's on the corner of Main and First. Mm -hmm. It's across from the park. Excellent. Thank you, girls. All right. Thank you so much. Very good. Now, this is just to practice your pronunciation, but let's see what else do we have for today's class. Now, let's see. This is the map that I was talking to you about, right? You will see the map in the video and you are going to practice with it. But meanwhile, let's have this one. It says guiding examples. Ya no vamos a ir al mapa para practicar, all right? Solo quiero mostrarles esto. Vamos a tener ciertas preguntas. Ya las vamos a ver aquí. Pero las vamos a responder de esta manera. The gas station is on first Avenue. The, what is this? The post office is on the center street. It's on Central Street, all right? Those are the ones that we're going to use. Vamos a utilizar las diferentes propositions of place de acuerdo a lo que se nos está pidiendo, right? Cuando les dije que podían utilizar más de una es porque pueden utilizar between, pero si ustedes creen que no es between, sino que sería in front of and across from, pueden hacerlo, right? For example, um, the gas station is across from the park. The park is across from, and the park is between the main street and the first street, all right? Something like that. That's when I told you you can use more than one. Let's check the practice time. Let me have Karen Heyman. Can you please tell me the instructions? Work in first. Eso me dijo, Miss? Yes, yes. Okay. Work in first. One of you is going to ask a direction. The other classmate is going to answer the question. Exactly. One of you, you're going to work in pairs, girls, all right? You're going to work in pairs. One of you is going to ask a direction. ¿Cómo vamos a preguntar una dirección, teacher? Aquí están las questions, right? Ya está easy peasy, solo para que lo practiquemos, all right? Where is... Goose Gas Station. Goose es el nombre de la gasolinera, right? Como nosotros aquí tenemos la Texaco, la Puma, right? Where is Goose Gas Station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore, right? Where is Dam's Drugstore? Right, let me take... Quizás me voy a llevar esta de aquí. La vamos a poner aquí, girls, para que la tengan más cerquita del mapa. All right. So, let's see. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. Vamos a practicar. Solo son cuatro, five. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five 
questions, okay? And you have to provide five answers. Let's go to this. Let's look for where is gas, gas station. Let me see. Jenny Romero, can you please ask question number one to Anita? And Anita, cuando usted la escucha, nos vamos a ir al mapa a buscarlo, right? Okay, action. Where is gas station? Okay. Let's see, Anita. Let's look for it. <laughs> Busquémoslo. Aquí. It's over here, Anita. Okay. The gas station is... is... Uh, sería across, no, 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 sería is um, on the corner. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on um, the corner of? Of, um, ah, the, the first avenue. Mm -hmm. That's correct, <laughs> very good. This gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Very good. Y yo sé, se van a poner nerviosas porque este topic, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty amazing, está bien genial porque es por demás que no nos van a preguntar, ¿dónde queda tal cosa, right? Imagínense si ven un native, un nativo, en la calle y les pregunta algo y no sabemos cómo darle la direction, se va a perder el tipo, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, tenemos que saber cómo hacerlo. So, it's kind of complicated. Es un poquito complicado cuando ya tenemos un mapa. Pero lo vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacer la práctica. Thank you, Anita. And I think it was... I forgot who was working with you, Anita. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue with someone else. Let me go with question number two. Vanessa Leiva, you are going to ask Question number two. Usted escoge a su víctima, Vanessa. Okay. Where is the hospital? Um, Patricia. Okay. Okay, Patricia, tell me where is the hospital. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it's over here, Patricia. The hospital. Mm -hmm. The hospital is between um I pero que no draw eh, no no puedo decir en medio de qué está. Mm, yes, mm, no está la between it's no, on, no uh, it's on center. Mm. It's on center street. Mm. Yes, pero también yes, puedo it's utilizar. It's a corner or across to, across to Love Department Store. Ajá, también me puede decir next to the post office. Next to the post office. Ajá, exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, so the hospital is next to the post office, right? Me, uh, on Center Street. Exactly, very good, Patricia. Excellent. Eso es un detalle que sí podemos agregarlo. Okay. Excellent, very good. Let me go with, thank you, Vanessa and Patricia. Let's go with Natalia Guevara. Okay, Natalie, you are going to ask number three. Usted escoge a su víctima. <laughs> All right. Okay. What is the use post office? Uh, veamos que no las tengo activas aquí mis Ana Rivas la primera que me salió <laughs> oh Jesus por Anita <laughs> repeat please repeat the question okay where is the US US post office Anita the US the United oh, States the US okay where okay. is the US post office Okay, the U.S. Post Office is a corner, podemos decir también siempre, the corner of in Second Avenue on Center Street. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. You actually can say, así como lo dijo, in the corner of, 
Es Second Avenue in front of Center Street. Eso. También puede hacerlas, porque está aquí, aquí enfrente está la Center Street. Ah, oh, ok, sí, yes. Si lo quiere agregar, si no, solo puede decir it's on the corner of Second Avenue. Ok. Very good, excellent girls. Thank you. Let me go. Ok, ya Anita, ya no le pregunto por esa edad. She had already two rounds. Let's go with Maria Sigüenza. You ask. Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Ajá. ¿Quién va a ser su victim? Eh, Jessica. Let me see if I have Jessica. Who is Jessica? <laughs> Emperatriz Gloria. Emperatriz. Okay, Emperatriz, you ask, you answer. I look in the, ah, okay. The bookstore. The bookstore is on the corner of Center Street and the Second Avenue. All right, very good, excellent. Thank you. Miren, voy a mover el mapa un poquito para acá, para hacerlo un poquito más chiquito, right? Yo les voy a ir dando con el puntero a dónde queda el lugar, right? Porque yo me acerco así para verlo y solo se los voy a señalar. Ustedes hacen su structure. Very good, Emperatriz and Mary. Thank you. Let's see, Karen Heyman. Usted pregunta y escoge a su victim. Uh, the last question. Where is the damn drugstore? Um, Jenny Romero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, Jenny. Aquí está. Drugstore. And let me see picture. Yo la tengo aquí con el puntito rojito. No sé si lo logra ver, Jenny. Yes, but I don't know what is near. Uh, Next or in from? Ah, you can actually use next to. Next to what? Uh, supermarket, yes. Ah, exactly. So dance drugstore. Drugstore, dance drugstore is next to a supermarket. Uh -huh. and, with, and what avenue? Is in uh, second avenue. That's correct. Excellent girl, very good. Let me go with Fatima Enriquez. Fatima, you ask question number one. Now listen, para question number one, ya utilizamos corner of. Podemos utilizar otra también como across from, right? Across from. Let's see, Fatima, usted pregunta number one. What is a golf station? Um, uh -huh. ¿A quién? Uh, what is Ana a golf station? Anita, que participo, ok, Anita. Let's try again. Anita tiene. Tiene eso de que le gusta participar. Ay, sí, sí. Gracias. Este es un momento de shine bright like a diamond. Este es un momento de brillar como un diamante, amiga. Let's see. Let's look into the map. ¿Qué otra podemos utilizar, Anita, en vez de eh, on the corner of? Uh, across. Mm -hmm. Across from, across from. Uh -huh. Creo que para across from sería de este, del department store. Del yeah, department store. Uh -huh. Across from, uh -huh. department store. Actually, en este caso también aplica la que mencionó Karen Heyman, the behind. ¿Qué significa atrás? We can say the gas, goose gas station is behind the department store. También aplica, right? Just in case, quisieran hacer uso de esa, pueden hacerlo behind, all right? 
And thank you, Anita. Let's go. Now, Anita, usted desquite. Ahora le toca a usted preguntar. Let's see. Okay. Uh, what is the, you say, no, what is the hospital? Ah, uh, Is, um. A quién? Um, Vanessa Leiva. Excellent. Vanessita, action. Where is the hospital? Uh, see, in, is the hospital uh, is on the, on the corner of uh -huh. um, post office. Okay, cuando decimos on the corner of, tenemos que decir el nombre de la calle, right? Pero fíjese, Vane, que si echamos un vistazo, tenemos las Goose Gas Station y tenemos el Post Office. ¿Qué otra se le viene a la mente para utilizar? B20. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Um, y sería... Sería... It's, the hospital is... The hospital is uh, between the gas station and the post office. Exactly, that's correct, very good. Miren, ya se dieron cuenta que con, entre más practicamos, más van saliendo otras maneras de decirlo, right? For example, la primera vez le dijimos a Patricia que era next to the post office, porque sí se puede, right? Pero si nos fijamos bien, tiene un pasillito aquí, which means que hay como una entrada, right? No dice que es una avenida, de seguro solo es un pasaje, right? Entonces podemos utilizar between the post office and Goose Gas Station. También podemos decir que está across from the department store or behind the city bank, right? We have different things. All right, girls, thank you so much. And let's go with the last one. Isis Reyes, Isis, you ask and choose your victim. Okay, where is the use? USA, US Post Office. Um, Maria Siguenza. Okay, excellent. Aha, uh -huh, Mary, where is the US Post Office? Central Street from what is the no la escucho, Mary. <ríe> Me acerco, pero no la escucho, amiga. Y ya se siente. Uy, ya tengo sueño. Muy interesita. Don't fall asleep, no se duerma. Let's see, Mary. Second Avenue. Ok, it's in the corner of Second Avenue. Are you sure? It's Center Street. Center Street. No sería, it's on the corner of Center Street. Very good. Repeat after me, Mary. It's on the corner. It's on the corner of of Center Street. Center Street. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Very good. También en este caso, queridas participantes, también podemos decir it's in front of the I don't know the Second Avenue bookstore, right? También está enfrente de eso. Aunque no parece enfrente de eso, es más como across from. Como cruzándose, right? When you cross this, you go to the bookstore, right? Eso es lo que les quería mencionar cuando estábamos haciendo la práctica, right? Bueno, no se los quería mencionar, se los mencioné al principio, que podemos hacer uso de más de una, right? Porque lo que para algunos es between, algunas veces para otro es, para otras personas también es a la par, en vez de between, right? Podría ser a la par, en vez de en medio de, ¿ok? Entonces eso depende de la persona que, la perspectiva que la persona tenga de dónde está el lugar. All right, so far, girls, do you have any question? Hasta ahorita, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Yo tengo una duda. 
Yes, Natalia, tell me. Eh, con el behind es detrás, pero para mí detrás, en el caso de la, del mapa, por ejemplo, eh, está el department store, city band, y el otro no sé qué, porque no alcanzo a leer, pero... El hospital. No, 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 contigo al banco. Ah, My es Mary's restaurant. Ok, pero si yo quiero decir, eh, para mí, lo que está atrás del banco sería lo que está, no en la parte, Obviamente no en la parte frontal, porque hace rato estaba, eh, cuando alguien mencionó lo de Gus Gasolinera, Gas dijo que el department store estaba enfrente, pero para mí sería como no enfrente, porque enfrente sería el parqueo o, o el hospital. The parking, not true. Uh -huh. Sí, es cierto, pero behind, en este caso, la Gus Gas Station, sí podríamos tomarla como que está behind the department store. No estaría enfrente, como usted mencionó, es cierto, no puede estar enfrente. Ajá. Pero el, ahí, ahí entra la cosa, ahí está la perspectiva. Si decimos behind, estamos diciendo atrás. Pero si yo digo in front, si yo estoy hablando de la Goose Gas Station, yo sí puedo decir Goose Gas Station is behind the department store. Pero si me preguntan por el department store, no voy a decir behind, right? Sino que voy a decir department store is in front of Goose Gas Station. Pero vaya, como usted dice, la perspectiva, porque para mí eh, el banco, el, eh, perdón, el hospital y el post office están atrás, porque desde, donde, o sea, desde mi perspectiva, no oh, sé si sí, la porque para mí la entrada o el, la parte del frente es todo lo que está sobre Main Street. Uh -huh. Todo lo que está en la calle en Center Street es lo de atrás, o sea, sería behind. behind. Todo lo que está atrás. Para mí. Yeah, you're right. No, but no, you're right. Me doy, me doy a entender. Sí, yo sí le comprendo. Y sí, es lo que le estoy diciendo. Le estoy dando el, el, el mérito. <ríe> All right? Porque sí es cierto, están behind. Estas cuatro, no, estas sí son cuatro. We only have gas station, hospital, post office, and bookstore. Esas cuatro están behind de lo que sería la Main Street and Center Street, basically. All right? So, yes, you're right. Pero, ¿cuál era su pregunta en sí, Natalie? Natalia? Es que hace rato, no sé si yo entendí mal, pero como que usted, eh, siempre voy al punto de la gasolinera que dijo que estaba mm -hmm. enfrente, por eso le digo que para mí es como que esté atrás. Mm -hmm, you're right, okay. De, so, del department store. Mm -hmm, no, you're right, you're right. Entonces fue my bad, fue mi culpa, quizás ahí me equivoqué, pero no, Natalia, you're right, it's behind. Ok, you're okay. right. Very good. Qué bueno. Gracias por fijarse, right? Pero Gracias. sí, gente, eh, my dear students, it's behind. Ok, so there you have it. Do you have any other question? About any other proposition? Teacher, y cuando se dice, por ejemplo, en español uno dice esquina opuesta. Digamos. Mm. Cuando uno dice, ¿verdad? Está esquina opuesta. Por Across. ejemplo, así como está... Gas station, y podríamos decir de Parman Store, siempre el mismo ejemplo ese. Uh -huh. Se puede decir esquina puesta de Parman Store. Ahí es donde ah. entra el across from también. Uh -huh. right? uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahí sí lo puede utilizar el across from. Nosotros tenemos diversas, en español tenemos diversas maneras de dar las, las señalizaciones, right? las localidades, pero en inglés they have just like straight ones, right? Tienen como unas bien propias que pueden significar más de una cosa, right? So that's why. Pero en ese caso, Anita, sí sería across from. Right? Another one. Ahora sí es el momento de despejar dudas. Let's see. Somebody else? Right. You're going to see this picture on the video. They are going to ask you. I don't remember if they are going to ask you to create sentences explaining the map or to send a, a voice things, a voice notes through Bocaru, all right? So you're going to watch that video, try to pay attention carefully, work as many examples as you can, and you'll be fine, all right? Esto con la práctica lo van a lograr, all right? Solo de esa manera, we can handle it completely. All right, girls. Now listen, for the next class, we're going to have this conversation, which it's another use, all right? Is it far from here? So if you can, you can try to look at the video and practice the conversation. 
so that the day that we are ready to the class, you will practice in a better way, right? So we're going to stop the class in here. It was a pleasure to see you and I will see you on Monday. Bye. Si tiene una duda durante el fin de semana, me pueden preguntar. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.